day. Welcome to Fee and Yo's Renault Show. What to do today? I've been noticing the caravan starting to lean more and more to the side, um, and the salt tyres losing air pressure over time. They are pretty old tyres, but for now we'll just keep pumping it up until we're ready to put new wheels and tyres on there, uh, which is what the air compressor is for. We've got our window back from our glass guy, who's fixed the other one we broke. So we'll get that in today, and I also. Uh, I went to try and buy some of these stays because the stay on the other side has broken and um, the cost of them was was kind of a lot and so I realized I can actually buy um, gas struts for the same price and I figured you don't only ever want the shutter either fully open or fully shut you don't kind of want it halfway um, so I've got gas struts to put on there whether they work or not we'll, we'll see Oh, well, that's the plan. And um, what else are we going to do today? We're going to get rid of all this old foam and put new ceiling foam around these windows. So yeah, it's um, it's interesting because you kind of you get to a, when you're doing projects like this for a long time, nothing much changes, and um, it's. It can be quite difficult to stay motivated. Um, thankfully, you know, having this little channel that we've got here, this little YouTube channel, is an extra help to be motivated. Like, there's an extra reason there to keep going with the project. Um, so that helps. But sometimes you just sort of think, ah, oh, can I really be bothered? Um, and you've really got to push yourself to be bothered. Today just feels like one of those days. But um, that's all right. We're here and. Uh, we'll just tinker along with it and see what happens. All right. So of course what's supposed to be just a two second job of pumping the tyre up has turned into a bigger job as always. Um, because this is the fitting I need to fit on the compressor and for some reason my um, tyre pumper upper thing has got the wrong fitting on it. So it doesn't fit into the hose. So let's just swap this one over to this one. <laughs> Why? There are no words. Pump it up by hand. I don't know. Let's do something else. <laughs> Let's see if we can explode the tyre. So it's got no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. I've um, got up to about 35 psi. Looking at the tyre, you can see it's pretty old. All the cracks on the side wall. So what we have here is a bucket of treats, which I've purchased in the last few weeks. I've got a whole bunch of O-rings, so that's for when we do the wiring to get the wiring through the aluminium channel and through the skin of the van. Um, we've got this here, which is going to be a distribution box, again for the wiring stuff. These are the gas struts I'm going to hopefully attach to that shutter. What else have we got in here? We've got some... Oh yes, we need to put, um, obviously, the towing lights and everything onto the van. Um, got a battery disconnect switch and this is um, 4 mil wire so I'm going to use that for the lights and other low draw appliances and it, oh, it's heavy and I've got some uh, much heavier 6 mil wire for larger appliances and things that need a little bit more current draw um, this is a marine standard I believe so it should last a long time and then just other bits and pieces and fittings and bits and pieces and uh, struts and stuff. Yay, toys.
these gas struts, they might be a little bit strong for the weight of this, but they're the lightest ones that they have there, so um, we'll just have to see how it goes. Anyway, there's only one way to find out, and it's just to keep on moving forward and see what happens. And then we try and get a nut on the back. <laughs> mm. <Right. laughs> That's a bit big. Uh, might be to make it fit. Let's just see if it's gonna work anyway before I get out of there for the putting the nuts in there. So it is. I think that'll work. I'll just get this nut in there next. Alright. So I've trimmed the nut down a little bit. I've cut a bit off two sides and hopefully now I can wedge it in between that aluminium channel so I can bolt it to that strut there. Gotta get it in there. This is still a bit fat. Just fit in there. Hmm. It's getting serious now. That's it. Moment of truth. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah. Made those brackets slightly too tight. It just fits in between them. And then see if it opens. Oh yeah. I reckon that'll leave the job. It's always a worry when you try to do something which is not a little bit out of the ordinary, just going away from the original hardware, but um, yep, I think it's worked. Time to plug up the old holes and uh, move on to the next job. Well done. Ah, yeah, rivets. We didn't check it out, rivets. So Fee's got the old brake cleaner there and she's using that to remove all of the old residue, the sticky residue from the previous foam before we stick our new one on there, get it nice and clean. The brake cleaner is good because it evaporates away very quickly to nothing. Fee's doing a great job cleaning those window frames. While she's doing that, I'm having a look at these. These are going to be the tail lights for the van. I wanted something kind of old looking um, and classic that suits the van. So I think these will do a good job. Way better than the ones that were on there, which are these hideous looking rectangle things. Anyway, less said about them, the better. So this is the mounting, like the rubber mounting bit that, that uh, the light goes on to. So right. I can, oh, I'm talking to camera. Oh, sorry. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the rubber mounting thing that the lights... Sorry. <laughs> so what I can do is just position this in about the right spot and make them both the same. I've got to flip, flip from one side to the other. Um, but of course, I, it's easy to measure this way and get them the same, but it's a bit harder to measure this way and get them the same. I suppose I can go off the little divots on the aluminium here. So I've popped this rubber grommet through the bodywork. 
so that when we pass our wires through, it's not going to be getting cut against the edge of the aluminium like the old one. <laughs> they just whacked a hole in it and went through. But um, I don't want any problems down the road, so we'll go to the rubber grommet and that'll keep everything nice and safe and reliable. This is the inside behind the light. I've put these larger washers on here just to spread that load around more of the aluminium and uh, it shouldn't be going anywhere. I'll cut these uh, off, they're a bit long, but that's just what I had on hand. And then um, that'll be good, light's done. I've still got to wire them up obviously, but yeah, getting there. Hello. Hi. Why oh, is this taking so long? Whilst helping you, <laughs> I dropped the two washers. We used a second pair, but the others went under the floor, under here. So Johan's got an ingenious plan. We've got a little magnet here, <laughs> and we'll we see can... if we can get them out. <laughs> Hopefully. No, you got. I can see something else. What have moving. I got? You got a little, tiny speck of rust or something. Oh. Try something else. Try again. Oh, that's better. I can hear that. <laughs> There's one. <laughs> There's one. That sounds like it. There it is. Look at that. And like release. Got it. Clever. Science. <laughs> Science for the win. Yeah. And just like that, two of them are on there now. So that's great. So we're going to do the number plate light in the middle. So now we've got the, the shutter kind of solved. <laughs> what? Oh, I've got to slide it in the groove, which is... <laughs> oh no, <laughs> no you've got to undo it. Yeah, I it's have only to the undo one. one side. Which side did I pull it out? I think I pulled mm, it out this side. I can't remember. <laughs> That's right. It's always something. Yeah. All right. Okay. It is a little tiny spring. Yeah, a little clip, spring clip. So you unclip it and then it slides out and oh. then it allows it to come out. Come out. I won't pull it out again. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Found it. <laughs> Might need to cut the grass around here. There we go. Well done. Good job. Right. That's done. It's nice to get all the windows in. Yep. So we should probably stick all the Sponge bits on. Have you finished cleaning all the... Yeah, I've just got the back two to do. Oh, okay. You can start sticking on everything right. else. I thought you might like to stick on because that's the fun job. You've done all the hard work, so you should get the fun job. Both lights are on the back. I've got the number plate light. It goes onto this extra little, I don't know, bit. Um, and I presume that's so you can bolt the number plate to it. Otherwise, if the number plate was direct fixed, uh, there's no way getting to the back. So anyway, it's on this little, I've mounted it to this piece here. I've put it through with a grommet, and then it, the wire's gonna come through here and then through into the main body of the van and then off to the plug. So that's going to go on there like so. So why don't we attach it now? That's all the lights on the back of the caravan. Finished. Well, not finished, attached to the van. <laughs> Gotta do all the wiring yet. Yeah. And what I'll do is on the inside of 
all of those penetrations I'll squirt some Sikaflex around just to make sure no water makes its way into the body of the van. Alright, what are you up to Fee? I am going to continue on with putting the rubber seals around right. the windows. Let's have a look at that. Righto. You look like a seamstress with the yeah. stuff around your neck. It's great. You just need some pins in your mouth. <laughs> ah, just got to make sure it's not showing, that's all. But not too low. A little bit crooked there. Should we worry about that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tell you, you film it and it, you just do a botch job when you're not filming. It's like too yeah, it's easy. It's just a bit of strip, I wouldn't worry. I oh, no. So we have a little bit of an issue on this back window here that we notice that um, if we go to close it, it's, it's like it's sunk down lower. I think what's going on, because this rail is so long, uh, when I put it on, I've actually bent it when I pushed the rubber in and it's bent it and it's now it's like fixed in there with a bow at the bottom. So I'm gonna pull the rubber out and fit the window and then put the rubber in and see if that fixes the issue. Without breaking the glass. Yeah, we won't break the glass, <laughs> isn't it? There's no water in there. There is. From the rain or from when you did it? Um, probably from the rain. Now, you can see how we've got all that play in it. Mm. So when I put the rubber in, it was out here. So now I'm going to push it up. Is that fit? Are you nervous? I don't know when it makes those crunchy noises. Yeah. We need some more in that corner. Yeah. There it goes. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, rats. Crappy crack. Oh, well, take it out. Another crack. Yeah, it's hitting these rivets. So, like the glass guy said, he said the glass should be fitted on the outside and the rubber should be on the inside for that reason. <sighs> One more. Shadows are getting longer and the day is drawing to an end. I would have liked to finish the day with more windows than we started. We brought one window out and we're taking two back with us. The one that uh, I broke again and uh, this one had a crack in it as well. So we thought, well, we might as well get that fixed because it's just going to break anyway. And I'll get the glass guy to put the glass on the other side because uh, like he said, that's a way better way of doing it. Um, yeah, it's funny these days because you, it feels like you don't get a whole lot done because it's little, sort of little fiddly jobs. Um, but I have to keep reminding myself that every day we spend out here is a day closer to getting finished, even if it doesn't feel like we've made a big milestone today. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.